With live mariachi music, eating tacos from Las Cuatro Milpas, watching lowriders cruise past vibrant murals etched on nearly every concrete surface that makes up Chicano Park. It's just some of the ways to describe the culture of Barrio Logan. If I would see the friends hanging out with each other, I would see the uh, people that have known each other for decades kind of, you know, congregating in the same area every weekend. It's also become an economic engine for hundreds of local artists and business owners like Maritza Garcia, who was born and raised in the neighborhood. You see the doggy? The predominantly Mexican-American locals have tried to reduce the crime rate by revitalizing the area. Many of the older small owners have put in countless hours of labor to generate success. But because of that success, it also means the property value in Barrio Logan has gone up. According to locals, the revitalization has come at a cost, fueling developers to build new apartments and businesses, but at a higher cost in rent, forcing longtime Chicano families to move out. Feeling happy because I grew up with friends, because I grew up with family. In an emotional interview, Garcia tells me her longtime neighbors who once paid affordable rent have now been forced to leave Barrio Logan. She now fears her family will find themselves in the same situation. The issues have sparked a furious debate centered on access to affordable housing and displacement and whether the recent changes have been positive for the existing community or simply a prime illustration of successful gentrification. Our biggest fear um, is that we will lose our cultural hub. Which is why the Environmental Health Coalition from Barrio Logan have demanded new policies from San Diego, especially because they say new development approved by the city has sped up gentrification. You are s speeding up gentrification because you're increasing the land value and you're giving developers incentive to tear down housing that is currently affordable. Earlier this year, the San Diego City Council approved their community plans, which requires more affordable housing and prevents displacement of residents in new developments. Mom and pop shops close a lot. Um, they're, they're basically gone in the, in the heart of Barrio Logan, um, but we still have a, vi a vibrant mom and pop shop in Logan, and we're fearful that that's next. For now, EHC continues to work with community leaders and the city. Regina Yurita, CBS 8.